Okay, I wanted to make a really quick crash course, just a description, uh, mostly just a description of how I use the Zoom Q8 as a, uh, which is a camera and audio recorder by the Zoom company, which also makes the H6 audio recorder, which I love and which I've used for my band for a few years and I've covered in some other videos uh, already. Um, the Q8 uh, I use when recording live because it is not only a great camera, but also gives me the option to have stem audio, to have separate audio wave files that I can then put into my DAW, mix down, resynchronize with the video, and have a nice clean uh, video that has the audio exactly like I want it. So let me talk real quick about how to do that, and I'll try to keep this, uh, although it's just going to be a description, I'm not going to cut away much. Um, Hopefully this will be enough for you to get the point, understand what I'm doing, and extrapolate it to your own circumstances. So, you do have to configure the camera to uh, to be able to do this. It's not by default set up to do exactly what I'm going to describe. But let me quickly introduce you to the camera itself if you're not familiar with this. So the zoom, uh, the Q8's got um, you know a, a stereo mic up top, and it's got a, a wheel here for that you can level it. When you are looking at the interface, you'll see um, you'll see the the levels bouncing around here, and you just want to use the wheel to level it into the healthy in the green, never hitting the red. That's basically what you want to do. So, in addition to this left right uh, the stereo left right mic, you also have on back <coughs> these two separate direct inputs, which can be uh, either XLR mic or quarter inch um, line level. You need to arm them here by pressing these soft buttons one and two for inputs one and two. And here are the wheels to control their, uh, their input levels. Similarly, just put it healthy in the green. You do need to change a couple things in the settings to make this work. Uh, the settings, of course, when you touch the screen, it's the cog wheel that's up here in the upper right. Um, I'll show you the settings I'm talking about. The setting that you want is the recording mode again over here in the upper left and you need to set it up like what I have here which is I don't know if you can see that clearly but um, so by default it's just going to create a movie file but what you want to set it to do is and you just touch this uh, touch this to change it you want to set it to be movie plus wave in other words, not only do I want a video file, the movie file, but I want wave audio files for each of those inputs, the left, right, the stereo, and the one and the two. Um, you want to also, as a best practice, you can set the video to whatever you want. I think I have a 1080, 30, 16 megabits, but you can have the video be whatever, whatever works for you. And then the audio, though, as a best practice, you want to set that at 44.1. 16-bit, which is the CD sampling rate, which is still kind of industry standard and just you'll never go wrong if you use that and that's plenty hot, plenty detailed, plenty rich, but if you use the 48, you might hit a wall where certain services won't allow you to use that going forward and that, that would be a real bummer. So anyway, once you've got that all configured and you set up and you, uh, you're going to set up and you're going to record yourself. What I do with my PA, I have the option to take two direct outs. I use a, an acoustic A1000 when I'm running my open stage. It has, I can assign my vocals to one output. I can assign my guitar to another output and then I put them into one and two respectively, one and two. And now I've got the, the stereo mic is giving me what the camera hears, what's going on in the room. The uh, the one is giving me an ISO, an isolated track of my vocal. The two is giving me an ISO of my guitar. Now I bring it all home, and I take so the the movie file. Just a quick note will have sound, and the sound it will have is the blend, the incoming blend of the stereo and the two isolated tracks, and that'll probably be decent it'll probably be in the ballpark of what you actually would accept but what i want to do is make it perfect for me i want to like you know uh, enhance modify 
and get everything uh, just how I want it. So I'm going to take those three wave files, the stereo room mic and the ISO vocal and the ISO guitar. I'm going to put it into my DAW. I use Reaper. Other people use GarageBand or Cubase or Pro Tools or whatever. And the advantage I have here is that I have three files. The, the video file and the three audio files are all exactly the same length and they are already synchronized. So taking those three audio files into my DAW, I'm going to do what I need to do to them. I'm going to EQ them, add reverb, pan them, blend them, get it exactly how it, maybe I don't want to hear the room mic, I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm going to get it perfect to taste, and then I'm going to mix it down as a new stereo WAV file that is, again, the, the same exact entire length. I'm not going to cut it off here. I'll do that later. The reason I do that is now it is already automatically synchronized with the video, which is sometimes the most annoying part of trying to edit videos to synchronize the synchronize incoming sound with the video. So now it's already synchronized. I'm going into my video editor, I'm bringing in that movie file, and I'm bringing in my new mix down wave file. I'm putting them together. They're already synchronized. Perfect. I'm muting the video, uh, the audio on the video. So now I've just got the video, the actual visual video portion of the video plus the audio portion of my new mix down audio and now I'll edit it now I'll chop off the dead air on the top on the beginning and chop off the dead air on the end and only use the one song I want to do or or whatever it is and then I'll render that video that video edit once I've already got them synchronized and lined up with each other that's the trick. That's what I do. Uh, it's fairly uh, a fairly easy strategy to employ. That's what I recommend that you do. Um, or, you know, hopefully that gives you some ideas about how to use this. Love this thing. It's a great, great thing. It's fairly, uh, fairly inexpensive, fairly affordable kind of camera. Easy to use for bands. Uh, definitely recommend using this. And uh, anyway, that's that. And... Uh, See you on the other side. Never hungry nor freezing no longer. Darling, my soul make my wife. Trust and patience and love without boundary. I give you this ring and this promise for life. Fly. My flag and I find you never be far from your side. Never be far from your side.